Hi and welcome to the first video demonstration of ReefWrite 7.1. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the basic features of ReefWrite and how to use them to create simple conservatory designs. On screen you'll see some of the features that are included in this video. I am currently using the premium version of ReefWrite 7.1 with Windows Vista, so depending on the versions of ReefWrite and Windows you are using, some of the features may not be available. When you have loaded ReefWrite, you'll see the main splash screen where you can choose to create a new drawing or open a recent or existing design. I'm going to click New. When you create a new drawing, you are given a list of templates to choose from. New to 7.1 is a search function which you can use to search through the different groups of templates. Once you've selected a template, double click the image to load it. Before you are given a 3D image of your design, you will see the order detail section appear. You can use this to enter customer information as well as choosing certain design features. Once you have entered the information you need, click OK. After you have entered your order details, you will see the 3D image of your design. You can spin and rotate the image using the right button on your mouse and move the image across the screen using the left button. You can change the size of the image on screen using the size percentage at the top, or alternatively you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse. On the left hand side of the screen you will notice the template parameters window. You can use this to change certain features of your design such as glazing, colours and sizes. Once you have changed the options you want, click the apply button at the bottom to make these changes. You can then close the window using the black cross in the top right. If at any point you need to get back to this, go to the edit menu at the top and select show template parameters. Please note that there are certain changes that you can make that will not allow you access to this once they have been changed. Once you have finished with the template parameters, it's time to add a door to your design. At the top, click the window and wall editor icon. The window and wall editor allows you to make all sorts of changes to the walls, frames and roof of your design. To add a door, select which wall you would like to add it to using the roof plan image. Once you have done this, select where you would like the door to go by selecting one of the frames. Then click the style door icon. You can then choose to add a single door or a door set using the drop down menus available. Or you can select change style to view all the styles available. Once you've clicked change style you can browse through the groups to find the style you are looking for and then click and drag that style onto the correct position on the wall. Notice that it recognises that the French door is two panes wide and replaces two frames. Once you've added the door, click apply on the style window and click OK to get back to the 3D image. You can add leading and other decorative items to your design using the many icons that are available. To add leading, select the leading icon from the top and choose which type of leading to add and where you want to add it. Once you are finishing editing your design, you can superimpose it onto a photograph of the customer's house. To do this, select the photo icon from the top and select house view. You can then browse through the files on your computer to find the image. Once you've selected an image, click open to add it behind your design. You can then use the tape measure tool to scale the drawing to the photo. Simply select the icon from the top and click and drag over an area to resize the design to fit. You can then move and rotate your design into the correct position on the photo. For more detailed movement, select the movement palette icon from the top and use this to make minor adjustments to the shape and size of your design. ReefWrite also has other features to make the drawing look even more realistic. Select the lighting icon from the top to change the sun position and brightness by adjusting the sliders. You can also clone the brickwork from the house photo and copy this onto your 3D design. To do this, select the clone tool from the top and click over a section of the photo you would like to copy. You can then choose what you want to replace on your design and adjust the size of the copied section. Then hit OK to change this. After you have finished editing your design, you can save it using the save icon at the top. 
Once saved, you can print out different reports for your design. To do this, select the print icon from the top. Scroll through the list of printouts and select any you would like to view. You can then choose to preview the report by clicking the preview button. Once in the preview window, you can choose to print straight away or you can close it and browse through some more reports. After you've selected the reports you wish to print, you can either choose to print to a file or to a printer. Printing to a file allows you to save the report as a PDF document to store on your computer and email to customers if necessary. To do this, select a file and set the quality at around 400 dpi, then click OK. You can then save the file as normal. To send your reports to a printer, select print and select a printer from the list and click OK. Once you've finished printing, click done. Now that concludes the first video demonstration of Refrite 7.1. Thanks very much for watching and keep an eye out for my next demonstration.